Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is some fun DIY project that we did in my son's room. We did my daughter's room, we did my room, and it was time to make my son's nursery room to a big boy room. I was looking about six months online and on Pinterest to find some ideas and finally we came up with the Lego theme. I am so excited to share this video with you guys. So if you guys are looking for an idea to do some DIY project for your son or if you know a friend that they're looking for some ideas, I think this is a great video for them. If you're interested, please keep on watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe below. And if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let's take a look. This was my daughter's bed, uh, which was pink. We are actually moving it to my son's room and we are painting it blue. And that's the color that he wanted and he picked the color himself. Why I should ever let you go? This is before we start the project. I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. So to mimic the Lego on the wall, kind of like a two Lego shape on the log, uh, on the wall with the paint, uh, we order these circular wooden discs that they're two inch wide. But as you see, they're super skinny. So I am actually gluing three of them together. Uh, to make it a little bit thicker and I'm just using this original wood glue and um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing and then this is gonna basically be this part of our Lego on the wall. Hopefully it comes out okay. We'll see. My husband did some calculation to figure out what uh, size block templates uh, should be so we can start drawing it on the wall. So we, we made these templates. This is a uh, different size for our blocks. And what I'm gonna be doing, I'm basically just drawing this on the wall in a um, different uh, direction and so we can get ready for painting. Baby with a We decided which color it's gonna go in which block and then we just tape around it so first we're gonna just paint the blue color because we can't paint few at the time because we have to let it dry tape it off and do the next block so they're all connected so we just basically tape off the blue boxes we're gonna paint it blue and then we're gonna let it dry and we're gonna move to the next block and before we start painting, of course, I'm gluing these circular wooden discs onto each block. Basically, we are just painting them blue and we changed our mind uh, to not do this one blue because it's close to this blue so we're just gonna change this to red but we want to just let it sit for a little bit and let it dry do a second coat on top and then move on so I'm moving on to the next color which is green stars or hang out in hotel bars driving somewhere in your car we can sleep under the stars we can sleep under the stars under the stars we can do what we like, like. 
like We can do what we like, like Baby, while we're young yeah. Now it's dry, I can go ahead and remove the tape Now I'm doing the color red. Come on, baby, take my hand. And we don't need to do the things we don't want. So unfortunately, some of the paint start bleeding, as you see. I think because my husband didn't run a credit card over the frog tape. So you want to make sure you are using a frog tape and also you are running a credit card over the tape because the blocks are literally next to each other. these two masks that I thought it would be cute to just put it on the wall and we're just basically gonna pin it uh, with these little pins and hang it on the wall these brush and just go on the edge and to just clean up a little bit of mess that we had kind of basically going on the edge Blocks. The next step is to put these blocks on the wall, but we wanted to find the best and easiest way to go on the wall and sit on the wall. But if you put these little pin in the wall, it's kind of um, slippery and it falls. Um, so we're just going to put a little bit of Play-Doh and um, a little bit of Play-Doh on the top so it's kind of make it thicker. And then we're also going to put a glue here and then we're going to uh, put it on the wall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum up and clean up his room and get everything ready for him. These are the original curtains when I made this room to a nursery before he was born. So it was really time to change them and I ordered these new curtains from Amazon. I really like them. It kind of goes with his room and um, I will link it below if you guys are interested to get them. This is the end result. We were super excited. 
Um, it came out really nice. I think it looked nicer in person than the camera because I think on the camera you'll see a lot of shadow on the wall but i hope you guys can tell my son was super excited he slept in his own uh, big boy bed uh, for maybe five nights and then now he comes to our bed in the middle of the night if you guys have any suggestion how we can keep him in his own bed the entire night please comment i need any help that i can get I hope you all enjoy watching this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hope to see you all next week have a wonderful day bye bye